ZBA, Dean on board 2020, and D Carson on board 2020. Rough backgrounder. I uh, just scratched the other one. This is a new one, D Carson CPA, on economics, financials, legal technology, teamwork, and communications, which is all flowing through tech into where tech meets the financials in a legal context for macro and micro financials and uh, entity reporting and ledgers that are now becoming more aware of data science and external and internal statistics and uh, core financials needs to put that all together as well as uh, HR task force lines needs to improve the HR teams, the HR technology, and the way that we use tech for entities to find uh, well-priced support but also to support domestic STEM. Uh, this is kind of an evolutionary line, 0 to 89, is just hitting on a couple of quick points. Uh, the school I went to originally was one of the best rated schools, probably still is one of the best rated in the nation in terms of learning, and learning by osmosis is a great thing. Retail, um, business lines, music at Berkeley College of Music, small business lines, um, working then into the lines of hospital work, which was in the hospitality sector, so that's food services within the hospital, but when you're delivering across the lines, you're seeing everything that's going on, so you're able to understand the functioning of the hospital, from the intake room, to the HR room, to patient services, and everyone's got food, so um, food being as essential as financials, you get some point where food is going into every sector of the hospital operations, you're getting to see everything. Next up to the line was assistant manager of Fortune 500 company based in the Midwest, but uh, national, um, so it's a Fortune 500 company, shares in the exchange, and work with them for two, headed into three years, working with a very young age, managing professional staff and non-professional staff, and dealing with the cash, the counting down of cash, the daily receipts, um, members of the public in different stations, being local uh, politicians, being high net worth individuals, being average mom and pop, being all segments of the economy and the general things you experience when you're working with the public. Um, but that being a great ground for stress management and different things in the business environment. Next up was Boney Accounts Services of Boney Mellon. At that time, it was Bank of New York. So it was uh, one of the old venerable New York banks working with that bank and helping set up accounts was a level assignment then, work with bartending hospitality, and then into New York City comptrollers to an audit role, working on the CRT tax, which is commercial rent tax, for those who don't know. NYC Comptroller's Office reports into the legislative arm. Um, so basically what you're doing is you're doing legislative-driven audit there, but you have access to executive and legislative branches. And, of course, judicial, you're not interfacing as much with them at that point. You're just aware of it. So that was a core ground to learn city code, um, charter. And then that led out later to state constitution, to general code, to state-to-state -state and local -to local uh, regulations comparatively in the study that we did, which was looking at different uh, major metropolises and points in the economy, and then taking that out to the national and international lines uh, for the New York to the global economy, and that being a metaphor for any state or any city to the global economy and any entity uh, to its vectors of cities, regions, states, multi-state, national, international interaction, depending upon the size of an entity. So all that being good experience to have a context to the entity and crossing economic, statistical, financial, legal, and tech ed, along with comms, into the knowledge of the entity and its place in the economy. Um, within the lines that were in the next, say, 16 years, more than that, of the um, experiential lines, uh, an event we had audit through CFO controller lines, starting at Fortune 500, audit AIG, PNC, property and casualty, commercial insurance. That got us into the NACs and stat lines of understanding. Um, went from there to WPP Group, which was branding. That branding line tells you about branding for Citigroup, for Texaco, um, for many things that were ahead of market in that. So that was, you know, experience with having information that was slightly ahead of market and not you know, you're not able to talk about things, you're dealing with things that have come up, but they're not out yet, so you have to have a strong confidentiality, and that's, you know, already a strong base that we have from AIG, and from the audit training of PACE, and accounting tax, and professional conduct, and whatnot. Next up, Deutsche Bank. Three lines of assignments at Deutsche Bank, so it followed the WPP group, was into Deutsche Bank, work for Morgan Grenfell. Morgan Grenfell was a wealth management company, wealth management company, dealt with 16 mutual funds. They dealt with... Um, uh, high, net, high net worth individuals, institutional wealth accounts, um, employment retirement systems, the whole lot. And so it was a real good mix there of small cap, large cap, mid cap, equity and debt products, other products, and then international and global lines. So that was a good line, strong responsibility there. Worked with KPMG and had worked with PwC prior at AIG. Um, and at WPP used a small regional New York firm, but that firm was 
also an international firm, so it was U.S. and U.K. workflows within that. At AIG, I'd worked with U.S. U.K. personnel, went out to Chicago, went to Delaware and rate filing, so I had good exposure to Delaware and, you know, corporates, some of them filed down in Delaware, so having some of the knowledge of Delaware and how it functions, and since then, much more in the DCARS and CPA lines. Then going up to BNY Mellon, we returned for the 9-11 project lines. The 9-11 project lines had us then segued into an ERP, PeopleSoft, business analyst and transfer pricing support project, which was a really good project to take the financials and then get really working in with the white papers, the data tables, and really taking much more of a tech hat. And in that time, I was studying a lot about tech. And uh, one thing I should have mentioned down here was, you know, my dad was a mainframe programmer. So him being a mainframe programmer, he worked for banks. I had a very early on uh, familiarity with tech and the environment, although I was not you know, I was doing some programming stuff, but I hadn't followed the tech line and followed the accounting line up. But that base of having grown up around that, having a few engineers in the family, all helped to a an upward chart, which was basically taking us to D Carson CPA lines, which in the long run took us through the accounting lines, the skills we had working with financials at the core, working with the multi legs of financials being accounting, taxation, regulatory reporting, um, compliance management reporting into uh, the upper levels, you know, where analysts and economists are taking that information to make decisions on capital markets, and that stuff's flowing through the funds and other things. So there's a really comprehensive learning of different levels and perspectives to financials, and, you know, both building strong financials and interpreting strong financials. Okay, so basically that's not listing all the roles. Many more roles will come out. They're listed on the LinkedIn profiles, and... There'll be more coming out because I'm probably going to have to do a little more to discuss this, but we wanted to say that after that, it was 2008 to 2009, was family intercession, and then there were things going on there, but family was a big focus at that point. Then 2010 to 2019 was a resuming of building out the EPC lines, GRL STEM, D. Carson CPA Net, and D. Carson CPA MFC1, which gave us strong context to an economist, analyst, CFO, CIO, project management, business analyst, tech, and comms line into teamwork, which is really substantial experience for independent director work to help on a board, to help an advisory to an NT in any sector because the breadth of our dis- of our study was from wealth management and capital market lines into health, into energy, into agriculture, into pretty much every vertical in line of the economy. If there's something that we neglected to have in there, I have a LCM model that can help me get into any line. So if your line was new to me or it wasn't something that was the core of the studies for D. Carson CPA, there's no doubt I can get into it. And from the financial, legal, tech, and teamwork lines, it gives me a fax to access line to pull everything up to speed very quick because the common lines of what you need are growth, risk, and logistics with STEM and your entity, working with EPC lines, with your entity policy and community, working with corporate governance, and working with an understanding of the available opportunities with data science, core financials, and the <coughs> the ecosystem context lines, because once you're at the board level, you're thinking about the entity and how it interacts with its competitors, how it interacts with itself, how it works at every level with communications, training, and development, um, to get information about the marketplace, to get information about the team, in through the team, and at the same time working with GRC and ITGRC to, uh, lines to protect the entity and to protect as best you can in changing times um, and staying very actively updated with the technology for cybersecurity. So there's a heck of a lot of things in here. You know you need a lot of knowledge, um, but a lot of people typically won't come to a board line with this much knowledge. It's my assertion. So what I'd like to say is that ECARS and CPA and advisory lines were a strong foundation to, to appeal for a board role for 2020 and so to get this out there dean on board 2020 dean carson on board 2020 is our initiative line there are a couple opportunities we've missed about two years to go to go for um the the mrsb advisory lines and different advisory things but we've done some panel work for cfp board Um, we went down for discipline and ethics uh, panel in washington and there's been a lot of participation in the active groups of membership groups and um uh, different meeting groups across the economy. So DCARS and CPA has given me a wealth of experience. We're going to continue to hone that down to the strong uh, and concise pack to get Dean on board 2020 and Dean Carson on board 2020. These were the lines of studying the industrial, uh, governmental, academic, nonprofit, and community lines to economy financials. And uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to activate that, get it onto a board, and add a lot of significant uh, value for for the entity itself, for management, for the employees and stakeholders, for the shareholders, and for the broader lines of entity policy and community stakeholders, because this is a time where, more important, 
Uh, we're thinking about the entity. We're thinking about how the entity can do as much as it can with optimizing resources and how it can uh, work on responsible corporate citizens, uh, citizenry. Sorry about that. And to protect that entity in relation to its role in the economy to show clearly that it's about strong civics, it's about strong uh, service to both the shareholder and stakeholder lines to needs, and uh, that's something that can be delivered. So for where that matches up to board needs, uh, there's just a lot of skills in here. I'm just going to continue to present these boards until it clicks that there's no doubt about the value about where it can help, and a lot of it comes from the study of risk, the study of um, you know the financials, and then risk feeding into security, um, risk management, VUCA, and many other lines are just an interconnected line of teamwork and engineering to help build for improved entities in the economy and financials. I'm Dean Carson. This is the initiative for Dean Carson and Boards 2020. It's a little bit rough start, but we're going to go from here to the more polished lines. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.